Hi, my name is Ted. Today I'm going to show you how to protect a formula in Excel. Uh, this is a little tricky to do, so let me, let me go through the steps. There's a couple of different places, a couple of different menus that you need to uh, go to, to to do what I'm going to describe. Uh, so the first one is the in the Tools menu, there's an item called Protection, and there's something called Protect Sheet. And what that will do is that will, and I'm just going to open it just for the time being so that you can see what it is, and we'll go back to it in just a minute. Um, and what that does is it protects this sheet in the contents of locked cells. By default, when you open up an Excel uh, worksheet, all of the cells are locked. So anything we're going to do here in protection is going to apply to all the cells. Um, as you can see, you can allow users of the sheet to, to do a number of things. And the, the, the default is to allow the users to select the locked and unlocked cells, but they can't make any changes. And that's generally the kind of things you want to do. So let me just cancel out of there and show you the other menu that you need to be aware of. Under the Format menu is, um, is something under, under Format Cells. Is, uh, in, in one of the items is, uh, is called Protection. And this is where you actually lock the cells. And by default, as I said, they're all locked. So let me cancel out of that now that you, you, you've seen those two menus and show you the steps you do. The first thing you want to do is go to the cells that you don't want locked, the ones that you want the user to be able to change. So I've got a table here. It's an imaginary team, and, and I've got the players' names, the number of games each one has played, the number of points they've scored, and the number of points per game. Now, presumably, you don't want to change the, the, the players' names. Um, you don't want to change the calculation of the points per game, but as we play more games, we want to enter in the update the number of games played and the number of points. So those are the cells that you want to unlock to allow the user to change. So we select those cells, we go to the Format menu, Format, Cells, Protection, and we're going to unclick the Locked option there. And we're going to say OK. So now those cells are unlocked, but the sheet isn't protected yet. You know, you, you could go here and you could uh, change the points per game, and, and we, we don't want you to be able to do that. So let me just undo that. And now I'm going to go to, and it doesn't matter what's selected now, because we're going to only, we're going to change the properties of the sheet. We're going to go to Tools, Protection, and Protect Sheet. And we're going to just leave the defaults that they have. And we're going to put in a password here, we'll say, and it's optional, but just for that, I'm going to do it. And I'm just going to type in Excel as the password. OK, now you know my password. Excel, uh, again, and we'll say OK. Now let's test it out. Let's say that some nefarious person wanted to put his name in place of Jerome's. Uh, so I'm going to put Ted in place of Jerome. Oh, it won't let me do it. Now let's say I didn't like uh, Megan, so I'm going to change her points per game. Oh. It didn't let me do that. But let's say that uh, we had another game, and so now we've played 10 games, and let's say Javier uh, scored uh, four points in this game, so he's now up to 38, and we make that change, and Jerome played another game, and he scored a couple more points, or maybe four more points, and you can, you can change all the cells in the games and the points. So I hope this has been helpful. I'm Ted, and today I showed you how to protect a formula in Excel. Thank you for watching.